Hi angels, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to talk more about the Coach Jewelry Series. I'm so happy to be talking to you girls today and spending time with you talking about my lovely Coach Jewelry items. Today for the series, I wanted to do different types of jewelry. And we talked about that before. I wanted to do Pandora jewelry, Michael Kors jewelry, as well as semi-precious gemstones. So I have several things that I wanted to talk about today. Let's go ahead, let's get started, let's jump right in. So today we're gonna be talking about lovely Michael Kors jewelry. And you girls know if the jewelry is kinda small sometimes, somebody's at my front door. But if the jewelry is kinda small sometimes and if it doesn't show up on the camera very well, then I'll try to enclose a photo so that you can get a little bit of a better look. So the first thing that I wanted to talk about is this lovely necklace. And I didn't wear too much jewelry today because I may put it on or I may just enclose a photo. And in weeks to come, you guys are going to be seeing me wear all this jewelry on my channel. So, but this lovely necklace is by Michael Kors and it's a choker and it's so beautiful. It's a statement piece. I had to go ahead and pick it up. The reason I picked it up is because it's a choker and it's going to look nice out, not just for date night. You could wear this. It's a little bit of a statement piece. I probably wouldn't wear this particular piece every day, but it is a very nice necklace and it's going to match the earrings so much. Now this Michael Kors lock right here is pretty much an everyday piece for me. I wear this lock all the time. I really enjoy wearing this Michael Kors lock. Part of the reason why I like wearing it is because I can wear it, you know, long. I can wear it, it's very long. It's a very long piece that I can wear as a necklace. Or I can go ahead and double it. And it's really easy to double the chain. And when I double the chain, it's not a choker. I wear this all the time. You'll see me wear this on my videos. When I double the chain, it catches me, it falls right about right here and it looks so so nice on this Michael Kors lock so I wanted to talk about some locks with jewelry and other things but the other thing that I wanted to talk about was the lovely Michael Kors hoop earrings now the nice thing about the Michael Kors hoop earrings is I have two pairs right here and they're both so beautiful. This one comes in the, it's like Michael Kors higher end jewelry line. And then this is just the regular Michael Kors jewelry line. But they're both very nice. So this is some stud Michael Kors earrings. And what's really, really nice about them is this even tells you that the post of these, and I'm going to have to enclose a picture of these because they're very small, but they're hoops. They're so beautiful. Oh my God, they're so pretty. And here they are right here. I'll enclose a photo. But on these right here, the posts that you put them into your ear with is sterling silver so the reason i wanted to talk about that is because and i have on some lovely coach earrings today let me go ahead and see if i could put the michael kors earrings in so you guys can see what i'm working with but the michael kors earrings the posts are so beautiful they're sterling silver and the good thing about that is they won't break you out so we were talking about that ladies some of you ladies were talking to me about that in the comment section and, you know, were wondering if the jewelry, if the coach jewelry was safe to wear because some people are allergic. And the thing about it is the coach jewelry. Now, some of them, just like the Michael Kors one right here, this Michael Kors one, the post is sterling silver. So for me, I know if it's sterling silver or if it's real 14 karat gold, 18 karat gold, 10 karat gold, it's not going to break me out. However, like with the Coach Huggies, now the Coach Huggies are not sterling silver. Um, they're, the posts are not white gold or sterling silver. So if you are somebody that's allergic to non, you know, st sterling silver or, or, you know, if it's not real gold, if you're allergic to those type of jewelry items, then you know you might not be able to wear it. Or what I do is, I won't say you won't be able to wear it, but you might, you know, definitely don't sleep in the jewelry 
you know even some of my real 14 karat gold jewelry don't sleep in it it's just uncomfortable sometimes to sleep in all your jewelry items and all your jewelry pieces so i would say wear it like wear it take it out wear it the next day take it out give yourself a rest you know wait a couple of days you could wear it again with another coach bag and if you wear it like that then it really shouldn't you know, you shouldn't have a hypoallergenic allergic or, or you shouldn't have an allergic reaction is what I'm trying to say. However, um, I still like wearing some of the costume jewelry. Like I know one place that I enjoyed shopping aside from Pandora. Pandora has sterling silver jewelry. Um, at the mall, I like going to Piercing Pagoda. Piercing Pagoda at the mall has some sterling silver jewelry and some real 14 karat gold, 10 karat gold jewelry. So even though Piercing Pagoda is not a high-end luxury jewelry store, I enjoy shopping at Piercing Pagoda. And years ago, I remember picking up some nice hoop earrings at Piercing Pagoda, a necklace at Piercing Pagoda. So Piercing Pagoda at the mall is someplace really nice that you could pick up affordable jewelry items as well that won't break you out, that are real sterling silver and real gold. Now as far as the coach jewelry goes, I would still say don't be turned off by them. If you, I know I've worn a necklace before and it did kind of chafe me a little bit and all I did was I took it off after a couple of days and I was able to wear it again you know I slept in it that was probably the problem you know so I would say don't sleep in the coach jewelry and it shouldn't be a problem but I did want to go ahead and talk about the Michael Kors jewelry today with the Michael Kors necklace that's so pretty the matching choker and I will go ahead in upcoming videos and wear this so you guys could see but today I just kind of wanted to show the jewelry item so the earrings the hoops are just so lovely I did take out the other one <laughs> okay let me go ahead and put this one in the Michael Kors hoops are so lovely and these came with the little booklet that did inform me that they were sterling silver they say so right here Michael Kors sterling they say right in the little booklet that the post are sterling silver on these so with the Michael Kors you might want to look for those pieces if you're somebody that you know has an allergic reaction so today I wanted to talk about the Michael Kors lovely jewelry the other thing I wanted to touch on really quickly is the lock like I said the Michael Kors lock now I did want to talk about the lock for a minute the Michael Kors lock is smaller than like a Louis Vuitton lock the lock that you would get with a Louis Vuitton bag so I have my lovely Alma right here and I just wanted to go ahead and take the lock off because I wanted to do a quick little comparison of the lock <laughs> so here is the Louis Vuitton lock that was on my Alma bag I'm gonna take the key out we don't need the key right now but this is the lock the reason I wanted to compare it is because I wanted to say if you want to play a little game. Now a while ago I did go ahead and order myself a Louis Vuitton bracelet from Fashion File and I'll enclose a picture right here. You know Louis Vuitton has the bracelets like the Nanos and different bracelets. Some of them have the Louis Vuitton logo and the Louis Vuitton, the LV logo and the Louis Vuitton lock on them. That's fine but if you just want to play a little game you can go ahead and use this Louis Vuitton lock on a piece of jewelry I've done that before so I'm gonna go ahead and open it up and show you what I'm talking about so I'm gonna go ahead and open the lock with the key and I'm not saying you have to do this it's just if you want to have a little bit of fun now I have my Tiffany bracelet on right here and you could do this with any linked bracelet just go ahead and take the lock and you could put it on a bracelet if you want to just go ahead and string it through really quickly I'm going to show you guys and then lock it and you can play with your Louis Vuitton lock if you want to it, now the Tiffany bracelet that I have this one is very heavy and durable I wouldn't put this lock on anything thin because you don't want it to um, you don't want it to, to snap a real gold bracelet or anything but just on your Tiffany bracelet I have the key on your Tiffany bracelet if you wanted to play a game or on any bracelet if you wanted to play a game and actually I want to put it on the actual in one of the actual links because just now it didn't go in an actual link and I want to show you that you could put it in an actual link 
So let me try it again and try to get it into one of the... Okay, now this time I got it in a link. Now it won't slide around. It'll stay right there. And that looks really, really cute. You could go ahead and wear your Louis Vuitton lock on a bracelet if you like. There's no rules to it. You can wear it on a, a bracelet if you like or not. But I just wanted to show you the size in comparison to the Michael Kors lock. You can put this on a necklace as well if you wanted to. Let me go ahead. Okay, so I have my lovely Michael Kors earrings on and I think they look so, so cute with the hoops. Very beautiful earrings, the hoops. And the other thing that I wanted to talk to you girls about is just cleaning some of the Pandora and your Michael Kors jewelry. For the jewelry, you can just go ahead and use a cloth to kind of polish off the earrings for the coach earrings. Just use a cloth and kind of polish them up. And for, of course, your sterling silver and your Pandora items. Now, this jewelry cloth has been used very heavily, so I don't want to scare anyone. But you can see I've used it on a lot of my Pandora jewelry, and it's still so good for using on sterling silver and on gold jewelry and it's just a regular jewelry polishing cloth and girls i wanted to say that this my louis vuitton mirror right here i've had this mirror for a while and i've used it with some of my handbags and i did not think until recently why haven't you cleaned this mirror because the mirror i mean it can it, you know it can be clean i don't want to blind you guys that's the back of it so what i ended up doing was taking this jewelry cloth and cleaning it just like I would with my regular jewelry and just wiping it and girls you would be surprised at how clean my Louis Vuitton mirror right here came out I was so so happy that my mirror came out so beautiful and clean my Louis Vuitton multicolor mirror so today I'm all over the place today in this video you guys but I wanted to basically touch on the Michael Kors hoop earrings today my Michael Kors stud earrings that I also picked up. I'm going to have photos of them so you can take a better look at them. And the Michael Kors jewelry is so stunning. Just like the Coach jewelry, you girls, for costume jewelry and for affordable jewelry. Of course, we love our Tiffany. Of course, there's Cartier jewelry out there. There's all different types of other jewelry. But for affordable jewelry right now, I'm really enjoying the Coach jewelry and the Michael Kors jewelry that I've recently picked up at TJ Maxx. So today I wanted to talk to you lovely girls about the jewelry and I guess we went over the lock and the size of the locks. Where's my other little uh, lock? Oh, <laughs> today we also went over the two locks. And that's all I wanted to cover with you girls today. Remember to like, comment, subscribe on my channel. Stick with me for more jewelry videos. I have fun. I'm really enjoying this jewelry series. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you girls in my next video. Bye.